Today, we're seeing some sunlight break through the clouds. Daily case numbers are down. Transmission rates are down. Less people are being hospitalized. My friends, the measures are working. Staying home is saving lives. Sometimes we people need an eye opener and a reminder of what is right in front of us. We tend to seek and dream of an exciting fishing spot or the perfect river with big trout. It's always nice to dream about the once in a year trip to the mountains or the ocean. I often do that myself and planning a fishing trip is exciting and finding the perfect spot is what we seek. A spot where everything adds up and there is a big chance for a big fish. The time we have been through has learned me that I don't have to travel around the world to go fly fishing. A lot of the time you can find new and hidden fishing spots right around the corner close to your own backyard. Planning and seeking for that perfect fishing spot is exciting and you will be surprised how many options you have in front of you. This summer I'm exploring my own backyard. My backyard lies in the southeastern corner of East Norway. Beside our long coastlines, we have large areas of forest with over hundreds of lakes that are filled with trout. So many lakes that you won't be able to fish your way through them all. So where do I start? On my list of essential criteria for an exciting lake is to find a spot that is not overcrowded with other people with the same or other purposes. The excitement of being able to experience and explore untouched territory, at least for my eyes, is important. But at the same time, have the time to enjoy the silence over a good cup of coffee. That is really underestimated. The drawback of this criteria is there will in no way be a parking lot nearby and a good pair of wading boots with soles that can withstand a slightly too heavy fly fisherman is a must. The goal is to catch a brown trout and avoid making too many mistakes. The lake in the forest is beautiful but challenging. It 
it's like someone forgot to think of the fly fisherman when they placed all the trees around the whole lake. And it does not help when the big trouts appear totally out of reach, at least with a normal fly cast. Trout is Norway's most common and widespread fish species. It is also one of our earliest fishes. It came to Norway at the end of the previous ice age, although the trout in my backyard is not wild trout that originates from that time. But still beautiful and pleases many of the local fly fishermen. I can easily understand that some feel that catching a trout on a dry fly is the epitome of fly fishing. The visual aspect is exciting and something that I never get tired of. You have to be patient and if you are lucky you will be rewarded with the greatest gift a fly fisherman can wish for, a journey into the world of adrenaline and meet the most beautiful fish that lives in the forest of the southeastern part of Norway, the Norwegian forest brown trout. A successful cast with the right fly to match the hatch is all that is needed. The trout can vary in size, but they are all beautiful. My backyard lakes has given me many great fishing trips and one is easily surprised how big fish one can find. The time we have been through has taught me to appreciate what my local areas has to offer and it has become a reminder that I don't have to travel far to catch quality fish. On the other hand, traveling abroad or to your favorite fly fishing destination is more than just fishing. For me, it is meeting up with my family on Iceland and friends that I don't get to meet that often. Fly fishing with friends can be some of the best times of your life and I miss sitting around the bonfire 
listening to others telling their fly fishing stories. And not least, make new ones. The time ahead will be better and we can soon plan fly fishing trips and meet those we have not seen in a long time. In the meantime, I will continue to explore my backyard. The big question is, what are you planning this summer? <laughs>